YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Waz. We are back at it again with another video, a bit of a different one, but we're going to be talking about five things that you can do to improve your gameplay on Call of Duty Vanguard and even Call of Duty Warzone because some of these skills will transfer over. But before we get into the video, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100 subs. At 100 subs, we'll go ahead and drop a room tour video since a bunch of you have been asking like, hey, you know what's going on? Like all back here, what is this like sign? These nano leaves. We're gonna get into all of that at 100 subs. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know if you enjoy this content. We're always trying to make this channel a bunch better, right? So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we can go ahead and talk about is the graphic settings. I'll go ahead and, and scroll through these and you can you can try some of these out and, and see how they do for you. These are the ones that personally give me the best frames as well as the highest quality possible for you know competing. Right, so um, my display mode, I run a full screen borderless because I, I have more than one monitor. I like to switch between, you know, at a whim and I don't like to alt tab, right? Make sure your monitor is right. Your display resolution uh, should be correct. Uh, your refresh rate, you want to make sure you have VSync off. Um, frame and limit, I have mine on custom, but I just have like gameplay custom at 335 and then um, menu and minimize that 1630. Aspect ratio I have is automatic. Brightness, I don't really mess with. Display gamma is 2.2. Um, HDR is off, focus mode is off, right? And that's it for the display. Um, I also have on-demand texture streaming off because right now I think that helps prevent a lot of packet loss. So I keep this off uh, for now until, you know, I see something different. Uh, and then for quality, right? We have the render resolution, make sure it's always set at 100. I don't have dynamic resolution on. And then I'll just go ahead and scroll through these and you can either pause the video or, or run it back and see if you wanna, you know, copy any of these. Um, but yeah, again, these actually, you know what? You should change Filmic to SMAA. Um, this one has a habit of resetting sometimes. I'm not sure why, but I always keep that on low and always make sure it's on SMAA. I have Fidelity FX Cast on and the Strength on 100. This helps, you know, make the game look a lot sharper and a lot better. Depth of Field off. Um, VRAM I have on on 90%, but again, this this will matter on you know how much RAM you have. Um, gameplay let's go to color customization so i have color filters on right i have mine set on filter 2 both uh the intensity is 100 the uh filter intensity is 75 and then i have it on tritonopia and then my colors are like for me i'm green the team color is blue party is green and then for my enemy color i've seen people use yellow i've seen people use blue i prefer to use this like light pinkish color because it's honestly just easier to see uh for myself but again a lot of this will be personal preference um, field of view, I play on 120. Affected, affected is actually a huge, huge, huge thing. I see a lot of people like not running. Um, essentially, what affected does is if you have this set to independent, this will zoom into the default field of view, and it won't scale to 120. So right, if I am on a 120 and I aim in, it'll scale down to 80, I think. Right. If I leave it on affected, it'll scale down to I think like 110, I believe, or, or a fraction smaller than whatever your field of view is, so you can still see what's around you and you're not you're not playing like with tunnel vision pretty much right camera movement you want on 50 percent uh at least as possible then all of these you want um off um nvidia reflex low latency you can have this um either on or on plus boost i keep it as on right now and those are my my graphic settings right so let's go ahead and and talk about uh you know perks right so i'll just go ahead we'll use we'll use these perks right now so I think using Ford Intel is a very, very, you know, important perk uh, to use in pubs, right? Essentially what Ford Intel does is it makes the mini map on your screen a bit bigger so you can see a little bit more and also shows you where the enemy team is spawning, right? So I would always run Ford Intel. I was just experimenting with other perks, but a lot of the times I'll run Ford Intel on everything else. Um, Ninja, perk one, this this is really personal preference. I think, I think Ford Intel for pubs uh, spe specifically is is very very important and then i'm i'm kind of on the fence between lightweight and double time they essentially do the same thing but i run lightweight just so i can fly uh as fast as possible i like to you know push and rush you know head on and, and just get in there and get some action ready right so I, I use lightweight but again you can use either lightweight or double time really depends on your preference and what your play style is um but yeah so those are what i would do for perks Okay, so let's talk about a skill that'll, you know, help your aim in Vanguard and in Warzone uh, a ton, right? It'll help you get ready for gunfights faster and you'll be able to react a lot quicker, right? And it's called centering, 
right now essentially what centering is right is you want to keep your crosshair in the middle of your screen at all times a lot of the times what i'll see is some players will kind of run with their crosshair aiming at the grass right and in this game specifically and and in warzone as well right there's not gonna be a lot of people prone waiting for a gunfight here so you always want to keep it in the center of your screen so you have less time uh to to make those micro adjustments and kind of get into the fight faster you know what i mean so let's pretend someone is up here uh top grandma's in this little structure right here right we want to make sure that we're we're centered on that structure as we turn the corner so we don't have to adjust for anything right so boom like that and then i can go and you know start that gunfight whereas if you're not centered correctly right i'm running i'm just turning the corner i have to aim in and then kind of adjust there and by the time you do that you know you've probably gotten you know some damage taken and you may lose that gunfight right so always make sure you're centering correctly and always looking up and keeping this little white dot in the middle of your screen it'll help you a butt ton right and it'll help you win a lot more gunfights as well last thing we want to go over is what is in our nvidia control panel settings we'll just be looking at the resolution and then our color settings right so for resolution obviously you want to make sure that your refresh rate is at the highest refresh rate available and also that your resolution is correct and then for nvidia color settings you want to make sure you're using highest um 32 bit um if you have 10 bpc available you can i know um some only have eight so if you have 10 use it if you have eight that is fine as well um your output is rgb and then your dynamic range will be full so make sure those are in order first and then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go into adjust de desktop color settings and essentially you just want to you know boost your brightness a little bit boost your contrast boost the gamma just a little bit not too much otherwise it'll look super oversaturated and way too warm and then boost up your vibrance again these are all personal preferences and you know whatever you feel comfortable with is what you should be using but these are just the ones that i personally use myself and those are five things that you can use immediately to implement and help yourself improve on you know call of duty vanguard or call of duty warzone once again if you did enjoy the video please make sure to leave a like and again remember at 100 subscribers we are doing the room tour so please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to come back for more content i'll see y'all in the next one and happy sling